Is it okay? Yes, yes, we can see. Okay, thank you. Uh, so good morning uh, to everybody. It is really my pleasure to participate in this event and uh, uh, be able to disseminate some of the results from the implementation of uh, Perform Fish. My name is uh, Yanis Nengas. I'm a researcher at the uh, Hellenic Center for Marine Research at the Laboratory of Applied uh, Fish Nutrition. So my task today is to talk about uh, some recommendations about the dietary levels of minerals, in specific micro trace minerals for sea bass. Um, I didn't find this uh, a very easy task, to be honest, uh, as I will explain the reasons during the course uh, of this uh, presentation. Uh, so what I will, uh, so what I will uh, discuss uh, uh, is the results uh, derived from task 412 of the project of four package four uh, on the determination of rec recommended levels of uh, specific nutrients for sea bass in order to maximize growth performance and feed utilization. Uh, I would like first to remind you some basic things about mineral nutrition and also to stress out a few differences and challenges that uh, we face as nutritionists uh, in mineral nutrition uh, of aquatic species. Um, I, I apologize if I will repeat some things um, that uh, David already covered, but I guess this is the fate of uh, uh, the presenter, uh, of uh, the second presenter of uh, a similar topic. So please uh, bear with me. Um, aquatic animals, like uh, all animals, require minerals to perform their vital physiological and biochemical functions. And of course, to stay alive. Most of these essential minerals required for animals have been identified also in fish tissues and the, their essentiality have been confirmed also in fish. Four broad biochemical functions uh, of microtrace elements are widely recognized. is uh, the catalytic function, structural, physiological, and also regulatory. So trace minerals act as catalysts in enzyme and uh, other endocrine systems. Um, they are integral, but also specific components of the structure of metalloenzymes and hormones. They are activators, they are coenzymes uh, within those systems. And more than one third of all proteins require a trace element, cofactor for normal function. Also numerous metalloenzymes are required for a wide range of uh, metabolic activities, such as energy production, protein digestion, cell replication and antioxidant activity. This informative slide I found in the internet, uh, I think it's coming from a presentation by Zimpro, uh, summarizes the role of uh, uh, each trace mineral in aquatic animal nutrition. The different trace elements play a significant role at all stages of the life cycle. So we can see that, uh, for example, zinc, a zinc, um, manganium, copper and selenium are uh, uh, very important to support larvae, post larvae fry and fingerling development. Also, these minerals uh, play a significant role on fertility. Muscle development uh, is uh, dependent on zinc, selenium and chromium. The exoskeleton uh, health for shrimp is uh, related to zinc, manganese and uh, copper uh, adequacy. Of course, bone development uh, in thin fish, a very important uh, function of uh, zinc, uh, manganese and copper uh, is uh, towards this function. The nervous system is related to, co to, to copper. All trace elements play a very significant role on disease resistance and uh, are necessary for a healthy epithelial tissue. But what really do we know about the determination of dietary mineral requirements? One major challenge, as mentioned by, by David before, 
uh, to determine requirements is that aquatic organisms, unlike other vertebrates, absorb minerals from the diet, but as well as from the surrounding water. This fact complicates the determination of the quantitative diet, dietary requirements and put some values on the um, dietary uh, requirements. And possibly this is one of the main reasons why mineral nutrition of fish has received limited attention as compared to other nutrients. There are also other challenges like the differences in the methodology used to measure the mineral, mineral requirements and the response criteria. So some authors use growth and feed utilization, some use whole body or tissue mineral concentration and deposition, um, hematology and health, specific enzyme activities uh, related to trace elements as well are such indicators. In addition to all the above, fish feeds are continuously changing and increasingly eliminate fish meal by replacing with plant-based feed ingredients and other biotechnological products with different concentration and bioavailability of trace minerals. So I think it's very obvious that there is a need to reassess the mineral requirements, as well as their bioavailability for a wide range of ingredients, as well as other novel sources for two main reasons. One is the fact that we are heavily replacing fish meal. Fish meal is not only a source of protein and essential amino acids, but it brings with it uh, marine lipids and energy, is a very good source of omega-3 fatty acids, is a source of phospholipids and cholesterols, and contain many bioactive unidentified micronutrients. But in relation to this presentation, uh, fish meal is also a very good source. It's an excellent source of organic bioavailable trace mineral, minerals. So when we formulate in the absence of fish meal, exactly as we balance the diet for protein and amino acids, we should balance for trace minerals as well. Ideally, we should balance for available trace minerals, but this would require to know availability of minerals for each used raw material. The second reason is uh, that uh, we usually determine mineral requirements in the sterile and hospitable environment of a lab. So we have no environmental stresses, no pathological challenges or production handling. So all these recommendations coming uh, on publications and uh, found in NRC come from mainly lab trials. But this uh, is not living in a lab, is kept in uh, high densities, is, uh, is, is facing a lot of challenges, is fed continuously with nutrient dense feed. They are very often continuously, I would say, pushed to their absolute growth limits. And not only this, but they live under very stressful conditions. They have to cope with environmental changes of, uh, of temperature, oxygen, etc. They are uh, daily uh, handled, uh, so they have to face this uh, management stress. They are every day exposed to pathological uh, um, uh, agents, and also they are continuously in nutritional st stress because of the frequency, but also the um, formulations of the modern diets. So the, all these facts mass massively interfere with production performance and alter fish physiology. So we need to support these organisms with uh, trace elements, with uh, vitamins further to the um, published NRC values. So what if we go beyond these NRC values? These results uh, here come from, it, from uh, the implementation of Araina EU project. Uh, and shows the different requirements of minerals and vitamins when we reduce fish meal inclusion in the diet. So what this graph shows is uh, that we have 
on uh, the right this fish meal rich diet and all the rest of uh, the diets are much lower in fish meal and then on the bottom we see the supplementation of a premix of vitamins and minerals uh, together based on NRC values so uh, NRC values is 100 percent and then we go below and, and above what we can see, what is obvious from this uh, trial, is that in uh, reduced fish meal, we need 50% more uh, minerals and vitamins in order to sustain the same growth. And there are some other problems, okay? There are regulations in the EU on the inclusion of trace minerals in aquifers that limit the decision of the formulator to choose the concentration of specific trace mineral in accordance to the specific needs of the species and the formula used. In addition, minerals um, interact with each other due to their tendency to form chemical bonds. Such interactions are uh, bro broadly classified as synergistic or antagonistic. Direct Synergistic interactions between elements in structural processes are, for example, such as copper and iron, calcium and phosphorus with magnesium, and manganese with zinc. Some examples of antagonistic uh, relationships are considered to occur when trace elements with a similar electronic configuration and ionic state compete for binding uh, sites, such as zinc and cadmium, manganese and um, magnesium. Uh, usually at active sites of enzymes. Finally, phytic acid, which is present in plant ingredients, forms complexes with trace minerals, turning them partly unavailable. Also, uh, mineral requirements are significantly affected by their bioavailability from different forms of feed ingredients. Bioavailability is the uh, absorption of, of, the, of the nutrient. Two main forms are, uh, of trace elements are available in the industry today, uh, broadly at least, the organic form and the inorganic form. Inorganic minerals are provided as inorganic salts, like sulfates, like carbonates, etc. Uh, and the organic minerals are provided as a complex with an organic agent like proteins, like amino acids or pep peptides, and are therefore also called uh, chelated minerals. Organic minerals are reported to have higher bio bioavailability, but the validity of this statement is related uh, on the quality of chelation, of the bond, and if this bond survives uh, during the stomach environment. So in the organic uh, minerals, uh, you get uh, higher bioavailability, so uh, lower dietary inclusion is necessary to reach the same concentration in the tissue, but also improves the vitamin stability in diets um, because they do not oxidize sensitive vitamins uh, and other components in, in the diet. And of course, it's less uh, environmental, uh, uh, produce less environmental pollution because more is uh, sustained <coughs> in, the, in the body which is, very, which is uh, important for mainly the recirculating aquaculture systems. On the other hand, inorganic forms are very easy to produce, that's why uh, they are much cheaper than the organic, but uh, they are reported to have uh, limited absorption. Before I move to the results coming from the trials performed specifically for the performed fish project, I would like to, uh, to show you some results from other uh, publications and works, which I believe uh, are of interest. So some uh, dietary requirements of uh, met fish for trace elements have been uh, determined using those respond to curves as mentioned before. So in this uh, first uh, trial, <clears throat> different levels of supplemented zinc was put uh, in, uh, in the diets and then uh, the skin uh, zinc concentration was measured. We had um, uh, no supplementation in the control diet and then 
30, 70, 110, 150 of organic zinc, and finally 150 of an organic form just to compare uh, its uh, bioavailability. What uh, was found by the author was that uh, uh, zinc uh, concentration in skin was uh, increased up to 70%, and then this was leveled up. Inorganic zinc um, at uh, 150 <coughs> ppm produced the same uh, concentration in skin, in skin as uh, about uh, 50 ppm of organic form. Similar results came uh, when uh, organic iron was tested in uh, Seabrim at levels of uh, 50, 100, 200, and 300 ppm compared to an uh, inorganic form of uh, uh, iron at 200 ppm. The, the, the trend was the same up to about 150 ppm. I would say we had uh, an increase of concentration in spleen and then was leveled up. Again, you need uh, much less of uh, the organic form, about uh, 70 ppm to produce the same concentration in iron in the spleen uh, with the inorganic form. With uh, selenium, selenium in, uh, in muscle of uh, Seabrim, the authors tested uh, uh, different dose uh, from zero to 8.08 ppm of uh, selenium of organic form. Excuse me and also tested an inorganic selenite uh, form at uh, 0.4 ppm. Here we see that there was a linear increase of uh, concentration uh, in muscle. Again, selenite performed uh, much worse than the organic uh, form. A very inter interesting work um, uh, relating the role of uh, trace minerals with quality uh, was uh, recently uh, performed uh, under the project uh, Perfil. In this uh, trial, the organic minerals uh, were investigated in relation to fillet gapping in sea brim uh, fed low fish meal diets. Uh, gapping is when the fillet muscle breaks during filleting and you get these gaps between the muscle, which reduces the commercial value of fillet. In this graph, uh, what you see is uh, the intensity of, uh, of gapping, and you see the colors, where zero uh, is uh, minimum or no gapping, and five is maximum. You can see that uh, di uh, diets three and four, you can see that uh, the fillet showed the less intensive uh, uh, incident of, uh, of gapping compared with the uh, uh, fillet uh, of uh, fish fed on diet one and two with uh, less uh, minerals. Again, uh, very similar uh, results uh, are coming from uh, another species. Uh, Atlantic salmon, which has a very big problem with, uh, with uh, gapping. Uh, and then here you can see the, the feed with a medium fish meal, a feed with low fish meal, and uh, low, the same low fish meal uh, feed uh, fortified with uh, organic minerals. And you can see that with the lower fish meal, you have a very big uh, increase of percentage gapping. And when you add organic minerals, this it decreases uh, impressively. So uh, the role of uh, the trace minerals in uh, quality of fish is, uh, is vital. Another very interesting work, again, is coming from, uh, from Atlantic uh, Salmon. This is also uh, a published work. Um, uh, proves also that uh, the role of trace minerals and particularly organic trace minerals on the ability of fish to cope uh, under stressful conditions, conditions is uh, very important. In this case, uh, uh, on the stress of low oxygen level. And in this case, we have uh, a diet with uh, inorganic minerals, 
and then a diet with organic minerals and also with excessive overdose organic minerals. What we see that uh, under low oxygen, uh, total FCR does not change, but very interestingly, total um, the growth co uh, growth uh, rate increases linearly with uh, the inclusion and the overdose of uh, organic minerals. Another practical commercial scale uh, result comes from, uh, uh, from uh, the problems with uh, Cibrim and Gill parasites, uh, Spiricotyla, as you all know. Uh, this uh, parasite uh, produces significant mortalities due mainly to anemia of fish uh, and uh, decreases the growth rate and the gills of uh, fish uh, go white, so fish loses marketable uh, price. It uh, has been proven for uh, many years now that uh, uh, in practice, uh, when you use uh, supplemented organic iron uh, in, uh, in the diets, then you can uh, uh, really reduce mortalities, you can improve, you can uh, bring back normal blood parameters uh, in the fish and so uh, uh, save growth rates and uh, have a better gill color. Also, uh, sea bass suffers uh, mortalities due to myxobacter infections, which is a skin-related pathology. Uh, and as we described uh, before, zinc uh, plays a very, uh, very uh, um, beneficial role on skin integrity and also on the uh, speed of uh, wound healing. And wounds are the uh, the uh, points where this uh, myxobacter enter the system. And uh, in practical terms, again, in production uh, terms, we have seen that high doses of zinc reduced mortalities up to 70%. Of course, I have to mention here that uh, the zinc uh, added in uh, these uh, diets were well above the EU uh, limits and this uh, Practice can only be uh, implemented uh, under pharmaceutical uh, uh, veterinary prescription. Okay, now coming uh, to the specific trials that uh, were uh, performed in uh, performed fish, where we tested uh, juvenile cibrim, uh, excuse me, cibas, uh, of, an, of an initial uh, weight of 20 grams for 90 days. And we measured growth performance, feed utilization, protein efficiency, mineral deposition, and uh, antioxidant and immune biomarkers. Uh, we used a different approach here. We didn't do uh, those uh, uh, response curves, and we used the results from our INA project uh, uh, for the best uh, performing diet from this uh, project. And uh, we used a premix with uh, 0.67 of uh, selenium, 248 uh, of uh, iron, 17% um, copper, 60% uh, manganese, and 170 uh, not percent. All these are PPM. I'm sorry, uh, zinc uh, oxide. So we formulated six diets. Uh, one was 30% uh, fish meal with uh, the inorganic minerals at the levels we, we mentioned. We had a negative control with 10% um, fish meal and we added 2.5% trill meal to increase palatability. Then uh, with no mineral supplementation, organic minerals, uh, control minus uh, plus organic minerals, control minus plus inorganic minerals. And then we had another two levels of uh, lower and higher than the organic minerals. What we saw in, uh, in all cases was that the specific growth rate uh, and uh, FCR was best when we added uh, the organic minerals and then the, the results leveled up uh, for inorganic, organic low and organic uh, high. 
Also, we saw that uh, protein was utilized much better uh, using uh, the organic forms uh, as expected. And here we see protein efficiency ratio and uh, unparent uh, net protein utilization showing the same trends. Antioxidant enzymes were also measured uh, as uh, glutathione peroxidase and uh, superoxide dismutase uh, in order to determine the status of the fish to prevent oxidative uh, stress. Here we see identical trends uh, like before. A very big increase when fish were fed organic uh, um, feeds for both uh, enzymes. We also measured uh, mineral tissue concentration for whole body. Uh, you can see zinc given the trends uh, as expected, higher values gave uh, of uh, higher nutrient values gave higher uh, values uh, in, in, in the in whole body. Similar trends uh, were observed on specific uh, tissues and specific uh, uh, trace elements. Here again, zinc on vertebrate uh, increased, ha giving higher uh, values on organic um, minerals. Skin zinc as well, giving the best uh, uh, performance, the best uh, deposition of zinc in the skin on organic uh, fed uh, diet. Muscle, selenium gave the best result uh, uh, at this level and at this form. And uh, spleen uh, iron was uh, uh, quite high, but highest on this uh, diet as well. We also measured uh, telinescence uh, as an uh, index of uh, the phycocytic uh, ability of the fish. And, uh, Again, the graph matches uh, the previous findings with the best results on organic forms and the control positive. To confirm uh, these uh, findings, we did another trial on commercial size fish of uh, initial body weight uh, of about 220 grams for 90 days, where we measured growth performance and feed utilization. In this case, we didn't use inorganic uh, ingredients, uh, inorganic trace elements, since we found out from the previous trial that organic uh, form is more effective and we had a control diet to 20% fish meal and then we reduced to 10 and we add organic minerals uh, at uh, two levels. We saw no difference on specific growth and FCR in, uh, in uh, all experimental uh, groups. So to move on the conclusions, um, we could say that the limited literature confirms that uh, the biochemical functions of certain inorganic elements, including skeletal tissue metabolism, cellular, respiration, oxygen transport, and regulation of, of uh, acid-base equilibrium uh, is proved uh, uh, for fish. However, many gaps exist in the knowledge of mineral nutrition of fish. We explained the reasons. There are a lot of uh, challenges and problems in performing this kind of, uh, of trial. The NRC requirements values for certain minerals have been used and have to be used as guidelines. Uh, and as a, uh, as a starting point to establish recommendations for new, uh, new fish species. Uh, there are also new forms of trace elements like uh, organic forms like uh, uh, micro encapsulated or nano uh, uh, nutrient uh, encapsulated um, um, trace minerals, which needs to be assessed uh, for their rate of absorption and the potential uh, impact of fish performance. And finally, uh, again, I have to stress out that uh, uh, the shift from the use of fish meal as a major source of protein and minerals in feeds to proteins uh, of plant origins uh, require 
better assessment, new assessment of mineral uh, bioavailability for improving feed formulation more precisely. And uh, in relation to specific uh, results of uh, uh, these uh, trials, the concentration uh, of uh, trace minerals used in low fish meal gave better uh, growth results than the higher fish meal diet. The whole body minerals increased as dietary concentration increased as expected in most cases. And the organic form performed much better than the inorganic forms. Finally, trace minerals improve the antioxidative and the immune system of fish. And uh, I would say that under the specific conditions, under the specific species and uh, as, uh, weight and formulas and the used ingredients, uh, the used concentration and form of trace minerals uh, tested gave positive results. So thank you very much for your time and attention. Okay, thank you so much, Ioannis, for your uh, presentation. So now we have uh, some minutes for answering questions. I think we have here one question for you from Michael Viegas. He says, uh, um, iron supplementation is known to increase uh, bacterial growth in tank water. Does the same happen for organic iron? We, we have not tested uh, this. Uh, yes, uh, it's a very good point. Uh, it's uh, actually um, reported to, to have this effect. However, what I can, I can say is that during uh, more than 10 years of uh, using excessive uh, iron in uh, sea bream diets uh, to prevent the problems uh, created by um, uh, microcotyle did not show uh, such an effect, at least at the levels used. Okay. I don't know if uh, anyone has more uh, questions to Ioannis regarding this presentation. Yes, we have two more. So is there any other way if Sivas suffered from mix of bacteria and what are the indicators when this starts? Okay, pathology is not my, my expertise, uh, uh, to be honest. Um, I believe that uh, there are some uh, uh, medications. Uh, I don't know whether they are um, uh, uh, micro, uh, anti uh, bacterial uh, or something similar. Uh, I think uh, uh, fish pathologists would give some more valid information on this uh, question. Thank you. Yes, for sure. And another one uh, regarding how the extrusion affect the quality and the quantity of the minerals in the feed. Uh, we have not seen uh, any negative effects uh, on, on this uh, so far. Okay. Uh, yes. So uh, it seems that uh, these uh, forms are not uh, sensitive uh, like the, some of uh, other micro components, like, the, for example, vitamins uh, or pigments. Yes, and the same uh, person also asked uh, how we should act to balance the mineral requirements. How do we act? To balance the mineral requirements. I can imagine he, is, he or she is asking in the field, right? <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, I believe that uh, the logical process of this is to um, analyze its raw ingredient for uh, the uh, concentration of uh, trace minerals. Uh, and then according to this uh, formulate uh, in order to match uh, a high fish meal diet profile. So uh, the last uh, question uh, from uh, Matteo Carligaris. Uh, how minerals affect bacteria in the recirculated aquaculture systems, in particular uh, copper? Uh, there is a negative effect uh, of, uh, of this. Uh, that's why it is uh, very important to uh, put in these special RAS diets forms of uh, minerals that are uh, better uh, absorbed, uh, have better bioavailability, to reduce uh, these negative effects. 
Okay, thank you. We have uh, still one more question. I don't know if you can answer the analysis we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, is it often for uh, practicing for high zinc always in CBAS diets? Uh, in practical terms, in commercial uh, terms, we cannot go more than 150 uh, BPM. Okay. So this is the, this is, uh, and this is not the addition, this is the whole uh, mineral concentration, concentration in the diet. It's the EU uh, level. Okay, and uh, are all forms of minerals uh, in organic or inorganic bio bioavailable for the fish? Um, I'm not sure about the question. Uh, the question, if, uh, if uh, are all forms of uh, minerals, organic and inorganic forms, are all they uh, bioavailable for the fish? Well, as uh, we mentioned, so there is uh, a strong indication that uh, good quality and uh, well chelated uh, organic forms are, are much more bioavailable than the inorganic forms. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Ioannis. Yeah.